Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. In October 2022, the United States introduced the most stringent new export control regulations, focusing on advanced chip manufacturing equipment, which is the key to our chip development. Later, it reached an agreement with Japan and the Netherlands to jointly implement restrictions. At the same time, dozens of fabs are under construction in China, and the demand for equipment is growing. This is a rare opportunity for domestic equipment manufacturers. Recently, Chinese enterprises officially announced that domestic substitution of chip manufacturing equipment is accelerating. The performance of China and the United States is in stark contrast. Not only do we not want to see the chip restrictions in the United States, but even the semiconductor equipment manufacturers in the United States, Japan and the Netherlands do not want to see it. Because the mainland market has been the largest semiconductor market in the world in the past two years, they all have a lot of market share here. Previously, because Huawei was the world leader in 5G, the United States implemented a chip ban, which cut off the supply of 5G and other high-end chips such as Intel, AMD, and Qualcomm. They have suffered a lot of losses, resulting in a sharp decline in their performance. Now that new chip regulations have been introduced, it is the turn of semiconductor equipment manufacturers to suffer, and the downward trend in performance is becoming more and more obvious. According to the news from Nike Chinese website, now is the down cycle of chips, and the US export control has once again increased the weight. Among the world's nine largest semiconductor equipment manufacturers, Eight of them saw a year-on-year -year decrease in revenue in the first quarter of this year, or a slowdown in growth. Among the three major semiconductor equipment giants in the United States, the performance of applied materials will drop by 4% compared with the same period last year, the lowest level in three years. LAM executives expect the new U.S. rules to cut revenue by $2 billion to $2.5 billion this year. Japanese semiconductor equipment giant Tokyo Electron's revenue from the mainland fell to 22% from 27.5% previously. According to statistics, in 2022, China's total imports of semiconductor equipment will drop by 15.3% year-on-year, which will directly affect foreign semiconductor equipment manufacturers. However, at the same time that these major manufacturers were being impacted, domestic equipment manufacturers had good news again and again. The performance of Huahai Chinki, a domestic semiconductor equipment manufacturer, shows that last year's revenue increased by 109.03% year-on-year, and its net profit increased by 159.97% year-on-year. Tujing Technologies' revenue increased by 125.02% year-on-year last year, and its net profit increased by 438.09% year-on-year. In addition, Many companies such as North Huachuang, Qingmai Shanghai, Zhongwei Company, and Xinyuanwei have achieved net profit growth. Chinese domestic equipment replaces foreign products. Before, domestic semiconductor equipment companies didn't even have the chance of trial and error. Since the middle of last year, this situation has begun to change. Affected by the increase in restrictions in the United States, many fabs that purchase foreign equipment have begun to focus on purchasing domestic equipment. More importantly, domestic fabs are also willing to share the experience of using foreign equipment with domestic equipment companies to help domestic equipment companies grow.
it can be seen that the U.S. chip restrictions have prompted domestic fabs to cultivate domestic equipment manufacturers. SMIC should be one of them. Therefore, domestic semiconductor equipment manufacturers have encountered a golden opportunity for development. Recently, Xinyuanwei, a domestic semiconductor equipment manufacturer, officially announced that the first immersion-type high-capacity adhesive developing machine delivered to customers in December last year has now completed various process verifications and online production verification with international mainstream lithography machines. The results show that all the data have reached the customer's mass production target, which indicates that in the field of pre-coding and developing, the domestically made glue coating and developing equipment has achieved full coverage of all process nodes of 28 nanometers and above and can fully replace domestic products. Coating and developing equipment is one of the nine core equipments for chip manufacturing, which was previously monopolized by Japan's Tokyo Electronics and Diants. Among the chip manufacturing equipment that is stuck abroad, the severity of glue coating and developing equipment is second only to lithography machines. Jongkik Sinuanwei successfully broke the monopoly of foreign manufacturers and filled the gap in China. At present, it has begun to realize small batch substitution. In addition, there are a number of domestic equipment that have achieved different degrees of domestic substitution most of which have achieved 28 nanometers and above process coverage, and some equipment have reached the international leading level, such as medium and micro CCP etching equipment reaching below 5 nanometers. In addition, Beijing Yitang dry deglue equipment can be used for 90 nanometers to 5 nanometers logic chips. Shengmai Semiconductor has won the order from Hynix for its world's first cleaning technology. Tujing Technologies PECVD has carried out product verification tests for 10 nanometers and below processes. According to SEMI report data, the localization rate of China's semiconductor equipment continues to increase. It will be 21% in 2021 and has increased to 35% last year. The product lines of domestic semiconductor equipment manufacturers have covered all fields except lithography machines. Today, U.S. chip restrictions are still increasing and are extending from the middle and lower reaches of Huawei and SMIC to the upstream. This puts higher requirements on domestic equipment and must continue to move forward on the basis of mature manufacturing processes. The biggest shortcoming is the lithography machine. I hope Shanghai Microelectronics and other related lithography machine industry chains can achieve breakthroughs as soon as possible.